Hi, my name is Dyers from Team Solo Mid, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Olaf versus Aurelia. For this lane, you want to play really, really aggressively, level one. But if you don't go into lane level one, you want to do a camp and then TP to lane. If the enemy Aurelia did not do a camp and you're level two when he's level one, he will be completely zoned off the wave and do your best to control the wave where it pushes towards you and every time he hits a CS, you should go on him and see if you can kill him in all in. From levels three to four, this is when you get the most of your power, but so is when Aurelia gets the most of her power. And in all in, you'll definitely win. But what's really important here is if you're able to one versus two Aurelia and their jungler. When this is applicable, then you don't have to call for your jungler, but if you feel like you're going to get ganked, you can call for your jungler to trail your lane. So when you all in, you'll just win. From level five to six, the important thing here is when both champions get their ultimate. Aurelia's ult sustains her very well, which is really good against Olaf, but she can't stun you at the same time. When you go all in and you have ult, she can't really beat you in an all-in trade because when your health gets lower, you do more damage in terms of attack speed. And when you press ult, you just gain damage. Generally, since you have Ghost as a summoner spell, she won't be able to run away from you and you'll just win the all-ins. For Olaf's playstyle, you want to play as aggressive as possible. When you start dying too much, that's when you want to scale back and play less aggressive. When you can find the timings of playing aggressive at every point of the game, you can really snowball the game with Olaf. <laughs> For runes on Olaf, I like to run one red crit rune and the rest AD. As for armors and blues, I go flat armor and flat MR. If the enemy is all AD, then I go flat CDR or CDR per level blues. On quints, I go flat AD quints. For masteries on Olaf, I like to run 21-9. As for skill order in this matchup, you want to start Q and then E. You want to max Q first, not only because of the consistent damage on Q, but because when you max E, you don't get enough wave clear. Therefore, maxing Q first, then going E after will be very key in winning this lane. As for item build on Olaf against Aurelia, you want to rush Black Cleaver and then go into Randuin's. You have an option of going Ninja Tabai, Mercs, or CDR boots, depending on what the enemy team is and how you feel about which boots are best. And then after those items, you either build full tank or even more damage. Explore one of the recommended items from the offensive um, setup in the shop and just pick one of those items and you'll probably kill everyone. Thanks for watching this guide on solo lane tactics to Olaf versus Aurelia. Check out my other guides at lowclass.com. You can either rush down the back line and coordinate with your teammates to dive, or you can just go on the tanks and then peel back after chasing.